Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, press the like button at the end, press the subscribe button at the end, and press the notifications button at the end of the video. All right, today we're going to be talking about the advantages of having friends with benefits. All right, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because going into the new world order that we're going into now, you have to get used to friends with benefits. All right. In most cases, this is going to be your only way of a relationship. A lot of you guys are still wanting to take the red pill and then you're still wanting to get in a relationship. Let me tell you something, and this needs to stick with you. If you want a relationship, you cannot love the woman that you're with. Whoever in love loses. That's what a lot of you guys got to know. Whoever in love loses. The benefits of friends with benefits is you and the woman want to be a winner. So the only reason why you guys are messing around is just for sex. All right? So when she's done having sex with you, she's going to go be with a beta male that she can manipulate. That's typically what a woman's going to do. And the alpha male is going to always be there just to give her good sex. A lot of you guys can't slip up with this because a woman's not going to slip, slip up. When a woman places you in the friends with benefits category, she's going to keep you there. The moment you try to take her out of it is the moment she's going to get rid of you. So you must understand at the beginning that when you start become, getting in friends with benefits relationships, you must stay in those friends with, bene, friends with benefits relationships. And when the sex get old, you must be willing to walk away. So let's talk about the advantages of being in, of having friends with benefits all right for one no drama all right the reason why you're not going to have any drama is because you're putting less emotion into a woman the more emotion that you put into a woman the more drama you're going to have and the reason why is because when women know that you could be a dramatic weak person whenever she gets bored she creates the drama just to watch you react but she's only going to learn that by being around you a lot a lot of you beta males make women very bored in relationships so then women get frustrated with you and they're like i'm gonna create drama just to add some atmosphere then she'll go around her friends you'll be texting and calling her she won't pick up you'll be going crazy it's the same thing over why because you spend too much time with her and when she got bored she knew she could create drama to add excitement in the relationship all right no drama because you're not around her enough to keep her with drama going only beta males in relationships are going to always be going through drama alpha males that's just banging her back out would never see drama understand that next you have to accept the fact that you can talk to other women and she can talk to other men a lot of you guys can't accept that but when you get involved with friends with benefits, you must always assume that she's talking to more guys than you. You must always know that the, pop, the, the possibilities are high that this is happening. What does that do? That allows you to keep from putting your emotions all the way into her. That's how you're going to maintain the friends with benefits. Less emotion and more sexual tension. So accept the fact that there's other guys out there. Now, if she gets around you and you're blowing her back out and she's talking about these other guys, she's trying to make you jealous, all right? Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. That's a switching bait and it's a form of manipulation. That's her trying to go from friends with benefits into a relationship, but that's going to crutch you at the end of the day. Once you know that she's been messing around with a whole bunch of other guys, your emotions will get removed and it doesn't allow you to be manipulated by her in the long run because your emotions are removed. Next, your interaction with her is going to be at a minimum. Most friends with benefits, most friends with benefits only see each other maybe once a month, if that, maybe once or twice a month. It's never going to be a once a week thing. If you're seeing a woman once a week, that's not friends with benefits. That's dating. Please understand that friends with benefits is only just meeting up to have casual sex, smoke some weed and sip on some wine. That's about it. If you're seeing her more than once a month, then that's casual dating. You're, you're dating each other. Remember, 
Once a month, friends with benefits, accept that. Your interaction with her should always be at a minimum. Most women who are friends with benefits turn into side chicks whenever you do get a woman. Next, you would never have to do her a favor, all right? In the friends with benefits zone, you're just there for sex. So what she will do is she'll have other beta males on the outside of you. That's why I said you have to become comfortable with her dating other guys because she needs other guys to do favors for her. She needs money. She needs her car dropped off. She, can you take her here? Oh, that restaurant's nice. I want to go there. That's what the beta males are for. What most guys are going to be used for is dates, wine and dine. And when the date and wine and dine is over, she going to be calling up the alpha male in the middle of the night to go get her back blown out. That's where you come in at. You the guy that's going to be blowing her back out whenever she's out with these other guys. These other guys are going to be doing her favors. They're going to be taking her out to eat and they're going to be taking her out on dinners. That can't be you and you have to learn to accept that. Next, you're never held accountable for anything. So let's say she calls you and you say, all right, we'll just meet up this Friday. And then you call her Friday right before y'all supposed to meet. And you say, you know what? I'm busy. I won't be able to do anything. I'm going to just have to holler at you at another time. She's going to be okay with that. That's one of the advantages that you have. She's never going to hold you accountable for anything because you're just there for sex. But when it comes to the blue pill guy, the guy that calls her all the time, the guy that promised her to date, the guy that's promising her the world, whenever he don't do it, she going to try to kill him. She going to try to bury him. She gonna have him calling the phone. I'm sorry. He gotta pay for not being sorry. He gotta just fall behind her like a little ass toad. But for you, you will never be held accountable for anything that you do wrong because you haven't promised her the world. You haven't promised her everything that she wanted like the blue pill does. So you never have to worry about her setting up emotional traps. That's why I call it emotional entrapments to hold you in and make you feel guilty for not doing something that you said you were gonna do. That's the advantage. You should never hold you accountable. Next, this is a big one. Are you able to have sex with a woman without getting emotionally attached? Like you have to ask yourself, can you really do that? Can a lot of you guys really just have women that you have sex with that you don't get attached? Yes, but the only way that a lot of you guys can do that it's with ugly chicks, with fat chicks, women that you're not really attracted to until you have to bust a nut. See, this is what you got to understand. The less money you have in your pocket, the more beautiful some girls are going to be. The more you're going to like them. The more money you put in your pocket, the least attractive that girl is going to be. All right? So where does that play with this? If you ain't on your grind and you ain't getting money, your friends and benefits relationship is going to turn into a baby mama. That's what's going to happen. It's going to turn into a mediocre relationship because you feel less of a man. In order to keep you from getting attached to a woman, you must always have some type of money flowing into your pocket. You must always have some type of motivation flowing into you. You must always be looking to do better. Friends with benefits are just women that you just knocking down now till you go to the next level. But understand, if you ain't moving up the ladder in your life, your friends with benefits is going to be a baby mama. Understand that. The least amount of money you have in your pocket, the more attractive certain girls are going to be. And your friends with benefits can turn into a baby mama. But the more money you get in your pocket, the more friends with benefits is just stress relief. You know what I'm saying? Getting your, getting your rocks knocked off just so you can get up and get right back to the money. Last but not least, it's just understanding that casual dating is your reality. Any man out here still looking to get married, still looking to be in a relationship, let me tell you something. You ain't got no money, bro. You ain't got no dream. You ain't got nothing. I'm going to tell you that right now. Every man that's looking to be in a relationship ain't got shit going on with his life because every man that has things going on with his life is forced to look at reality in order to make those adjustments. And when you get ready to make your adjustments, you're going to realize women are just not what they used to be, bro. Friends with benefits is your reality. 
get used to it, get your money, fuck them, and send their asses home. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully I was able to give you a better understanding of what friends with benefits are, all right? Hasta la vista. Wait, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, notification button, then hasta la vista.